In 2015, Sarah Jane Rose and I were having a lot of meetings with women. Um, I, we were working on recruiting women to run uh, for another organization and just continued to have the experience of talking to a lot of people who said they wanted to make a difference, they wanted to do something in their communities, they felt disengaged, they didn't feel like they had enough information, or they just didn't feel like they could make a difference. It's, it's really easy to get in our own little comfortable ruts. It's really easy to be told over and over again that one person can affect much change, uh, but at the same time, uh, it's not true. It's, it's the messages we get about the narrow ways that we have to behave to be, uh, to be accepted, to be heard. Uh, it is both very obvious and it can be very subtle in some ways. We are told that we have to um, be, present ourselves acceptably. We're told that we have to be assertive but not too assertive. And we, we get pushed into these very narrow fields. And I think that that takes a lot of different forms. And we also get told, oh, wait your turn. Those sorts of things are just come in so many packages. And I just sort of chip away at our confidence. This demonization of getting involved on a civic level is really what's eroding um, the people that want to serve and be public servants. And what we need so much right now are public servants. Because what is easy to forget is these systems are our systems. They're there for us, to benefit us. They touch us every single day. And when we don't pay attention to them, it's like having a house that you just don't invest in and you're letting crumble down around you. You take care of it for you, but also for your kids or the next generation, the people around you. There is value in serving. I call myself a practical idealist because I never stop seeing what is possible, but to deal with what's right in front of you.